organization just surveyed falsehoods go unchecked, especially in Spanish. She says not the majority, a concerning number of respondents believe false narratives. Just because they don't translate the things to fact check them, claim that or have Spanish speaking to people fact checking things, to allow undocumented migrants to come in to vote for them, even though there's no evidence and non citizens can't vote in federal races. Spanish language disinformation, especially, has really blown up as an issue. Nora Benavides is with Free Press, a nonprofit that pushes for more transparency on like social media. blown up because the same people, the KGB, organization Klansmen and Trumpers, Spanish speakers do not feel they have enough reliable news sources to create misinformation to make voting choices. Are the I ones now translating into Spanish. incredibly concerned about the state of play this year. But there are efforts underway to fill the gap. Okay. Bueno. Every Thursday, close to a dozen Spanish language fact checking reporters from around the country jump on a Zoom call to discuss viral rumors and conspiracy theories spreading on social media. Just shows you what a dozen people can do. You get together and do something. A nonprofit fact checking site that launched in the U.S. two years ago to serve Spanish speakers. Laura Zamar is the CEO and co founder. There's a big group of people that is growing, are going to continue growing, that 